Hey guys, Deadpool25. Narcha 9234. With episode 26 of Engine Review, today we have the Power Rangers SPD, Rick the Robotic Canine, aka Murphy from Tokso Sentai, Decker Ranger. It's a cool design. I mean, he, of course, he's just a dog, so he, he, he does his regular features of a dog. He can stand, move his head, open his mouth as much as you can. He also has a kneeling position where you just simply pull the back feet, rotate them down, and then push the two side buttons. And there. That's it. And he has his little bone. bone that you can use in any mode. It fits in his mouth, and then that's it. He has three different sound effects on the head button, the chest button, and two sound effects on the back button. Um, he uses two AAA batteries, like most sensors, most mechas. Um, the switch on off switch is right near the compartment. And now we'll just turn on this. He has two different lights, red and green. Red means he's mad, green means he's happy. The back ones automatically make you angry because again, you're not supposed to talk, uh, touch dogs on their tails. That's, that's, that's all the sound effects for him. When he goes into bazooka mode and you transform him, he'll make a sound effect when you spin the back through your legs. And all you do is you put the feet up. You, pr you uh, both sides. You have to press. Yes, yeah, so you have to push the buttons and then pull the things out, pull the cannons out. And that's it. He's in his bazooka mode. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to use his dog sound effects in this mode. You only use the two sound effects: the charging mode and firing mode. You can hold the sound effect and then let it go, and it'll fire. And that's it. Um, really nice. Feature. The, the only thing I didn't like is that it didn't come with a stand that lets you stand in gun mode. Because in mo almost every weapon we actually had, there's always a stand, like the turbo ram actually had a stand when it's in the blaster mode. And the SWAT Megazord uses its guns as a stand. Yeah, which... Was a cool course. idea. I just wish this came with a stand. And it's pretty heavy. Um, back weight, it's really heavy. If you hold it with one hand, you'll feel the pressure. That's the reason why the hand is something. Just like in the show... You're supposed to hold it that way. Yeah. In the American version, it was slightly altered. Mm -hmm. the, all the chrome parts you see are here were removed, unfortunately. And also the handle used to fire. It was a solid red, just like the Delta Command Megazord. Um, it was, instead of translucent, it was just a solid red, so that was pretty nice. That was pretty different. The head button was changed into a bigger solid white button, removing the gray paint. The speaker slots were changed from vertical to horizontal in the US release. The middle sound button was completely removed. And the small little handle right here, you can't really see it, but... It's like this little white area on the Japanese one, but on the right. US one, it was solid. Other yeah. than that, it was identical. Same size, same mold, everything. In, in the US version, they actually released a red crimson edition for him. It was US exclusive. Same alterations done to from the from the US release, but he was cooler in the red version. For some weird reason, in the US release, there were two different version boxes for for um, Rick. There was a the, the original one was bigger, and then later on they made it smaller. I don't have any clue why they did that. I guess to save space. It was actually really interesting. You saw Rick like the size of a Megazord, then they just shrunk it like near the end of the series, and when the red version came out, that's what happened. Not bad toy. Really, really interesting to see. Uh, I, 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 I advise you can get the US version. You'll be happy with the US version. The minor chrome changes and whatnot don't really affect it as much. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's it for Murphy. Join us next Saturday for the Ninja Megazo from Power Ranger Season 3. Rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next Saturday. The only difference from the red version was it was somewhat, I guess you could say, like the battleized version because, of course, America had the battleizer like we always do. But the funny thing about the Japanese version of Decker Ranger was after Decker ended and it was the Maji Ranger series, when, of course, Sentai has the always Decker vs. Maji movie, uh, Bon used the American battleizer. Mm -hmm. That was the first so far only time that they used the US stuff. 
The only difference is, is that instead of using the bra the bridge throttle to activate it, he <laughs> only used the morpher, and yeah. he says Murphy, and then Murphy would just go apart out. and then go form it. Yeah, so that's actually the first time you actually saw that, so that was actually pretty interesting to see. He has eight different sound effects, three from the first button on his head, two on the middle, and, oh, no. He has three different sound effects, three on the head, three on the middle, and three on the back, the two on the back. I'm screwing that up. Okay, do it again.